వెల్కమ్ టు అల్గర్దం ట్రైనింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే లెట్ అస్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ స్టాక్ ఎ స్టాక్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫండమెంటల్ డేటా స్ట్రక్చర్ ఇన్ కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ ది స్టాక్ ఫాలోస్ ద లాస్ట్ ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ అవుట్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ దిస్ మీన్స్ ద లాస్ట్ ఎలిమెంట్ యాడెడ్ టు ద స్టాక్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ టు బి రిమూవ్ ద స్టాక్ has a fixed number of slots inserting an element into the stack is called push operation removing an element from the stack is called pop operation the elements can be pushed or popped from the same end of the stack which is called the top of the stack these are the some of the applications of stack recursion post fix expression evaluation in fix to post fix conversion depth for search undo redo operations browser history these are the basic operations of the stack push operation adds an element to the top of the stack pop operation removes the top element from the stack peak operation viewing the top of the element for top element of the stack without removing it is empty checking if the stack is empty or not is full checking if the stack is full or not so let us look into push operation now let us assume stack we have a stack with five slot four slots here and each slot is associated with indexes and in the index number starts from 0 to 3 here and stack size is 4 so maximum slots how many we have four slots initially let us assume we we have temporary reference which is pointing to invalid index minus 1 if you want to insert first element into the stack what we have to do is we have to increment top by 1 so when you increment top by 1 minus top is currently pointing to minus 1 when you increment by 1 it will it would be 0 so top should go and point to 0 so wherever top is pointing into that index you have to insert your element so that's what here if you that's what uh, you can see here the element came and occupy the first position which is pointed by top so if you see this algorithm here so that's what it is saying so when top is not not equals to size minus 1 you have to execute this so what is the top value here currently 0 which is not equals to size minus 1 is 3 so that is the reason we have to come and do this so top should be incremented top is incremented from minus 1 to 0 then in that new new top value wherever it was pointing so into that slot you have to insert so l spot you can see now so if you want to insert one more element again we need to increment the top from current position that is top is currently pointing to zero now we have to update by one so top goes to the top points to one now you, you can insert new element two into that slot number one again if you want to insert one more element we can increment top by 1 so current top value is 1 if you increment by 1 this would be 2 so top is pointing to 2 now into that new position we have to increment new element so again if you want to insert one more element we have to increment top from 2 to 3 so into that new slot index number 3 you can insert fourth element now if you see all the slots in the stack are occupied if you want to insert one more element which is not possible because there is no vacant cell we should avoid that by saying stack overflow so we have to throw stack overflow that's what in, the, in this algorithm uh, we have um, the conditions here let us see when top equals to size minus 1 means in this last condition when top is pointing to the last index that time if you are trying to insert one more element because at that time all the cells are already occupied we should say stack is overflow else in all other cases we have to 
increment the top value into that new top position, we have to insert the new element. So now let us look into the next operation, pop. Pop removes an element from the top of the stack. So let us assume we have a stack like this. Stack again with those four slots. In all the four slots, we have all the elements uh, occupied in the all the four, four slots. So if you want to remove an element, what we have to do here? First, mark which is the element you want to remove. So four, I want to remove the word. Then decrement top by one. Then remove this element four. So that's what here it is mentioned in this else block. X is the element to be removed. S of top, that is four here. Top is pointing to three. S of three is four. And decrement top. Top should come from here to here. So let us see here. So decrement top, remove the element and decrement top. So again, if you want to remove one more element, remove three and decrement top by one. So remove an element three and decrement two by one. So again, if you want to remove one more element, remove two and decrement top by one. So top should go on point to zero. Now we have only one element in the stack. If you remove, if you want to remove even that element, then again, we can apply the same logic. So first mark the element one to be removed, decrement top by one. So zero minus one. So top should go on point to minus one. This is the condition when the stack was empty, we have taken as a uh, top value. Top, should, top is pointing to minus one. That is nothing but initial condition when the stack is empty. So now if you want to remove an, one more element, if you see in this stack, there are no elements. If you try to remove an element, which is no element, when no element is there in the stack, then we should avoid that saying that underflow condition. That's what we can see in this algorithm now. Only when top is pointing to minus one, in that case means when stack is empty, then you have to say stack is stack underflow. In all other cases, we have to, First, mark the element to be removed, then decrement top and return the element. So this is pop operation. 